Hi, welcome to Classic Car Cave. Once again, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go and have a little rant about something uh, that happened the other day. Now, there's lots of things that are wrong with the world. We all know that. Um, some massive, massive issues. But these things all kind of add on as well. This particular rant is about cyclists, whether it be e-bikes or e-scooters, which, in my opinion, these e-scooters should be banned completely. They are a menace to society. I've been to Scandinavia and all different places around where some some tourists can jump on it. It doesn't know the rules of the road, doesn't know the area, and can just jump on a an e-scooter e that's doing 30, 40 kilometers an hour, whatever. It's crazy. They should be banned completely. Unfortunately, they've done a few, uh, they've got half a dozen in our little local town and, and trialing them. Um, but I think it's a bad idea. The council should shut them down completely and they're dangerous as well. So I live in a, a, a very small place, it's probably 10,000 population. It's a sleepy little town and, and, and there's a couple of small villages around it. Now we're doing all these bike lanes and you will see it in the video. So the first part you'll see is we used to have uh, a road coming down through our little village, which is Alton Mark, and it was a dead straight road because there was all fields on one side and a few houses on the other side, not many, dozen possibly, max. Um, and it's a 70 kilometer uh, road, straight as a die, all the way through. Nothing wrong with the road, it was, it didn't need pack, didn't need repairs or anything, it was perfect. I think, in fact, it was only some five years ago, I think it was done. It was retarmacked, but they wanted to bring down the speed limit and because they can't do it, because the national uh, government has to decide what the speed limits are, local councils can't do it and rightly so, it's the way it should be. Local councils have too much power in my opinion. Um, but what they did is they put, they put some kind of zigzags in it to try and uh, slow people down um, at to, to 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, so what's that, 12 miles an hour difference or 10 or whatever it is. Um, and then they put this cycle lane on the side of it. So I was driving it the other day, and the reason I bring this up is, is I, was I was driving down there the other day, and there was a woman on her bicycle on the main road, and her husband or partner, whatever, was on the cycle lane, which is big enough for two bikes. You can probably get three abreast on it, it's that big. And she thought, oh yeah, well, I can just drive down because I'm allowed to do it. This is what we should stop. If there's a cycle lane, we should say you use it, and if you're on the main road, but you know, the, the, the problem is there's such a lot of gray areas. I mean, from my understanding, uh, these people that are doing road races, they're allowed to go on the road or they're, yeah, they're on the public highway. Fine, let them go on the public highway, but pay. Pay for a registration so we know who you are, if there's an accident or there's, a, or there's been a, an injury or whatever, and you pay insurance. This is a small town called uh, Altenmark, or a small village. Uh, population of Furstenfeld's around 10,000. As you can see, they've built this road. Now this used to be a straight road, going all the way along here, absolutely straight. And you can see they've got this big cycle lane on the left-hand side here, which people are using. E-bikes, normal bicycles, scooters, whatever. Anyway, they wanted to drop it from 70 kilometers an hour, kilometers, not miles down to 50. Now they couldn't do that because obviously the national government decide on the speeds. So what they did was is they put all these bends and twists in and put this stupid cycle lane on here um, so they could bring it down to 50 within the law. This is how they did it. Um, now I was driving along here the other day and uh, as you can see that cycle lane is, for, is to go both ways and there's enough room for two bicycles or scooters or whatever and one was driving on the cycle lane, the other one was on the main road, and even though it's been put up for them. Really so in, the, in this second clip, uh, this is a new piece of road that's been put down, um, and uh, it's, it, I have to admit, they put some new houses up, so they have to put some new gas mains in and water mains, which were very deep into the ground, so I, I understand it would take a bit of time, but it was over a year and this road has been in a terrible condition uh, for, for at least that amount of time because they've had it, you know, you could go one side and not the other, you could, there was no entry one way and then no entry that way. Okay, you have to do it at you know, certain times for certain projects. But they put this cycle lane in there now and the cycle lane and the piece of grass or the grating they put down with grass on top of it, why they need to do that, I do not understand because if they just put a barrier, a, you know, a concrete barrier in between it, 
there wouldn't be any maintenance. Now we're going to have to pay as ratepayers, we're going to have to pay for maintenance to cut this grass every week or so. It's ridiculous. You know, they could just have put a concrete barrier between them so there was no problem. And, and, but again, this, this lane is hardly being used. So this is the one I'm going to show you now. There's also another one, and all these things are at least, they're, they're less than half a mile from where I live. There's another one where going down the hill, there's a very steep hill going down into town to the main roundabout, and it's, and it's quite wide. You could easily get two bicycles up and down it, but no, all, the bicycle lane is only up on, on one side, um, and then pedestrians are on the other side, and bicycles can go down the hill on the main road. The fuck's the point in that? You've got a cycle lane, make and use the cycle lane, especially in this particular place where it's quite dangerous. Anyway, have a look at the second video and you'll see. But the, the, the big one for me is that right at the end where they put this tiny little piece of tarmac in the corner and a covert, and it's it's literally 15 foot long. And I'm thinking, well, what the fuck was the point of that? And it probably costs some thousands and thousands of euros to have it done. Anyway. Okay, so this is another... Uh, cycle lane that they've done. This has taken over a year to work on this. Unbelievable. And look at the size of the road. It's narrow compared to how much cycle lane there is over there and this stupid grass pit that's going to be in the middle. To be fair, they did put a lot of pipe work down, but even so, uh, the whole thing's an absolute mess. It must have cost millions. So they've made this cycle lane um, and I don't know whether it's pedestrians and cycles, what it is, but if you look how narrow it is on the corners, and again, they've done the same thing to try and drop the speed down. So it goes all the way up here. It's, bear in mind, this is a year, and this is Austria, which is pretty good. So now, they've put this grass in between, which is taking up a load of room, instead of having it for, for the cars, and now they've got to maintain and cut it all the time. But the very, and look, it's not even being used. You know, it's seven o'clock on a, uh, what is it, a Wednesday or Thursday night. This is the most unbelievable bit. That they've spent money on this. Now, I'll, I'll bring the camera up. I'll go slow so you can see it. So you can see here, they made that little bit there. So it goes from that little useless corner to that little useless corner. What? What, what the fuck is that about? So, in conclusion. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts are, uh, what it's like where you live, whether it's worse or better, or there's a better way to do these things. But um, I'd like to see what you uh, what you think. Just please drop a comment, um, and and just let me know what it how it is in your situation. I mean, we're fairly lucky here because it's a small town, but I should imagine in some of these cities around the world, some of these cycle lanes, are, and and it must be in the billions by now. Um, I, I think it's time for them to pay their way. If everybody else has to pay to use the road, why shouldn't they? I don't see any difference whatsoever, uh, in, in my opinion. Um, you know, people go on about saving the earth and that's what they're doing. Well, yeah, and then when it comes to the winter, the minute there's bad weather, these bicycles are put inside their garages or their sheds, and this infrastructure that we spent billions on is not being used. So, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know... Uh, how, as I said, how the situations are with you, uh, what your thoughts are, and it's particularly on these e-scooter things, which I say, in my opinion, I think is, a, is the worst thing they've ever let them do. They should be banned completely. But let me know how you, how you think. Anyway, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, and, and uh, yeah, uh, just look after each other. Take care. Bye for now.